Hi friends, welcome back to another fall clean and decorate with me. I have been so excited and working so hard on this video. It's one of my favorite videos to film every year. This year I went all out and I'm giving you some extreme cleaning motivation mixed with fall farmhouse decor ideas on a budget. I went to Hobby Lobby maybe a thousand times over the last month trying to get everything set for this video. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and turn the bell notifications on because I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday and you won't want to miss the fall and winter content I have plant. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what your fall theme is for decorating this year in your home. So if you saw my most recent vlog, you know that I had washed my sheets in that vlog and bleached them and stuff. And then I just was going ahead and putting them back on the bed. It's funny because this blanket right here is actually for a queen size bed. But when we switched to a king size bed, we never switched to a king size bed blanket that goes underneath the main blanket. Anyways, that was a mouthful, but it's so hot here and I hate to spend money on blankets because it's just not even worth it. We only have a few cold months out of the year. I'm in Los Angeles, so just in case you guys are new here. But anyway, so I just was going ahead and getting all of my blankets and sheets put back on the bed. Oh, what a hopeless case we could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I finished making my bed, I'm just gonna go ahead and work on some laundry here. I was watching or listening to some of my friends on Marco Polo. I'm on Marco Polo a lot. Let me know in the comments if you do the same thing. I think it's a must have for stay at home moms, especially because it's kind of our connection to the outside world. It's like social media, but a little bit more personal because it's your actual friends and contacts that you're having conversations with every day. So I really love it and I seriously don't think I could live without it at this point. So anyways, I'm just going ahead and finishing getting all of our clothes put away and folded. And if you're interested, I was thinking of doing a KonMari folding video. So let me know down in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in watching.
I try to keep up with my laundry every single morning. I just kind of have a morning routine where I go ahead and put a load in each morning before I go downstairs. And this seems to work really well for me and my family. We are a family of five and we have a lot of laundry to keep up on. So I just figure if I do one load a day, it's going to help just keep things a little bit less chaotic at our house. No, I can't forget, no. When I saw you on the dance floor, oh, I saw you who's on me first. I guess it's history now, and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize the danger, cause you're the end of the rainbow. And the music was so loud, you didn't catch the name of the dance club. So now I'm just going to be loading the dishwasher and kind of getting things picked up on my kitchen counters. I recently posted on Insta Stories, and I said, I think I did a poll of like, who loves and it's their favorite thing to do to clean their kitchen countertops off and 99% agreed, 1% did not. And I got so many messages from people asking, how could somebody not like to clean off their kitchen counter? <laughs> I have no idea, but I know that I love when my kitchen counter is cleaned off. It's definitely the best way besides making my bed to make me feel like my house is clean. I'd love to hear your favorite things to have clean in your house that just make you feel like, okay, the house is not a complete tornado. So now I'm just heading in with my Mrs. Myers pumpkin scent multi-surface spray. And this stuff is actually a bottle from last year that I kept because I hadn't quite finished the bottle. It's almost empty, but I wanted to keep using it this year and kind of switch out all of my hand soaps and my multi-surface spray that I always keep out on the counter. If you order stuff from Grove or you use Mrs. Myers, which scent did you go ahead and order this year? I will have my link in the description box below. One of my favorite things to do during the fall season is order new Grove products, usually Mrs. Myers, and I usually get the hand soap, dish soap, and multi-surface spray, and I just love getting those things. It makes my house completely transition from summer to fall and I just love it. My family loves it. They love that everything smells like pumpkins. So anyways, I'll make sure and have that linked below. So 
I don't usually clean my sink with Comet, but this time I just felt like it had been a while since I had really scrubbed my sink well with some cleaner. So I went ahead and grabbed the Comet that is kind of old school and of course full of disgusting chemicals, but I just wanted to scrub out this kitchen sink really good and get it to be as white as possible and I was really happy with the way that it turned out. Sometimes I use non-toxic stuff from Mrs. Myers, but today was not a non-toxic day. going to be dusting my shelves and getting everything nice and clean and I'm just going to start the decorating process which is taking things down that I feel like are a little bit more summery or springtime and then I'm going to be putting them all on my table and kind of just doing the process of getting things taken down so that I can put new things up. I had a bin full of my fall decor and I was going to try to figure out what my theme was going to be this year and you'll see throughout this video that I kind of worked on it as I was going and by the end I love the way that it turned out. Don't leave this video early. You will miss out on the best part of it and I just love, I ended up going with like a neutral farmhouse fall decor and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. It was definitely a process. You'll see even my husband tried to get a little bit involved and help me because in the beginning I just was not feeling the stuff that I was putting out. But I think that's a really good thing to remember is it's not usually the first thing that we put out that ends up being what looks great. And it's kind of like taking selfies, you know? You take a selfie, it's not cute. So you take 20 more and then you'll find a good one. And so I kind of feel like it's that way with home decor. You have to kind of mess with it and try different ideas and different ways of putting things and kind of fail multiple times before you find the perfect way to put up the home decor. So that's my tip. I got that tip actually from one of my friends, Lauren Midgley. She's awesome at decorating and I just love that tip. I think it helps me a lot because it helps me to remember I don't have to keep up whatever I put up. I can always switch things around and mess with it. So that's my tip for the day. for the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Let's get some of these decorations out. I went to TJ Maxx recently and bought a bunch of new stuff and I wanted to just pull everything out of the garage, get everything out, my previous fall decor and then the new fall decor. And I was having so much fun. It was just like the most chill night. Me and my husband were just hanging out and he was working on stuff while I was decorating and the kids were in bed and it was just such a relaxing, enjoyable experience. So you'll see right here, I was switching out my um, throw pillows. I made these throw pillow covers last year in my fall decor um, or my fall clean and decorate video. I'll make sure and get that linked in the description below so that you can watch last year's 
um, clean and decorate. I made these pillow covers from napkins that I got from TJ Maxx last year. And I got that idea from my friend Lynette Yoder and she has a YouTube channel. I'll make sure and list everybody's YouTube channel who I keep talking about. But I've learned tons of little ideas here on YouTube from my friends. And so this is one of them, which is to make your own pillow covers if you're not finding like the pillow covers that you're looking for out at the store. And then I just got a couple of white fluffy pillows and it's kind of like an off-white, like a cream. And I wanted to make sure that I had something neutral to go with those buffalo check orange pillows. You can see here that I sent my husband in to try and get this pillow fluffed. We've talked about this pillow on my channel so many times before. It gives me so much grief and <laughs> I don't know if it's ever going to be fluffed in the right way, but we keep trying to refluff it up. Now feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you. So this is what I'm talking about with kind of putting out decorations and then scratching it and trying something new. And I did this so many times that I actually ended up not figuring out what I wanted to do until days after this. And so you'll see at the end that I, I finally figured out something that I liked and that looked right. One of my other tips for you for decorating for any season, I guess, is I went on Pinterest first and kind of looked around to see the theme that I wanted to go for or what I was gravitating towards this year. Last year I did more classic oranges, but this year I went ahead and did more neutrals. So if you haven't yet started decorating your home, but you really want to, I would suggest going on Pinterest first and getting some cute little ideas and kind of thinking about different places in your home that you want to decorate and what you could do, just little touches here and there. Um, one of the things that I did at the end is put up little um, white pumpkins everywhere. So you'll see that in a minute. But right now I'm just going through and adding different things that I already had like the candle or like the dish towel in the bathroom and just adding little pumpkins here and there. These were some mugs that I got from TJ Maxx. They just say fall y'all and it's just the Ray Dunn collection and I love them and they're definitely appearing all over my Instagram lately because you know if you know me you've been here for a while I love coffee I am a big time coffee lover I'm just gonna be vacuuming the whole downstairs to my house. This is something that I do quite often. I am obsessed with vacuuming, hashtag vacuum lines on fleek. That's just something that we like to say over here on my channel. And I truly just love having everything clean and no crumbs on the floor. I've got three kids and so you can imagine how much crumbs we accumulate every single day. And by the way, if you haven't yet entered my huge giveaway with LG vacuums, go ahead and go over to my Instagram. It's just katie.satilli. And we are giving away together 20 
LG vacuums of the exact one that I'm using. So don't forget to go check that out after you finish this video. It is a huge and very generous giveaway from LG and I am just so excited and I want everyone to be involved if they can be. So a few days later, I added a few finishing touches. I had gone to Hobby Lobby at least two times after the beginning portion of this video, and I picked up this thankful doormat, and I'm obsessed with it. I would love to get like a buffalo check um, doormat to go underneath it, but I'm still trying to figure out where to find one of those. If you know where they are, let me know in the comments. And now I'm just gonna be going ahead and replacing some of the twigs or <laughs> leaves or florals that I have in this. I had moved them over onto my bookshelf, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I had been envisioning that I wanted to add some white pumpkins to this. So I just bought these little picks and they were $1.50 each. And I believe that they were 40% off or 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And so I got them each for like 75 cents. And I absolutely love how it ties in the fall decor theme that I was going with because now it's up on the wall, it's by the door, it's up here on the shelves. And I just love that. I love having it go into like different areas of the home so that when you look around everything looks like it's coordinating and matching Now this is actually an example of something that I had in my mind but it didn't turn out the way that I had thought it would so I think I would have needed a little bit smaller of white pumpkins. These were the smallest picks that I could find at Hobby Lobby, but um, looking back, it's just, it didn't come out in theory how I had been imagining in my mind. So I went ahead and took these picks down after this and I rearranged them and put them up in a different spot in my house. So I finally figured out kind of what I wanted to go for with my theme and it's just like these fresh um, leaves and then kind of like that mint color and I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint that gray pumpkin but I just kind of mixed together a bunch of my white pumpkins like some of the neutrals and put like um, paper towels or mugs underneath so that they would pop up a little bit more in that big um what do you call it the thing that i got that was on the table and i don't know i just love how it turned out i love 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 looking at it you'll see it again at the end this is actually an area that i have not completed yet 
I went ahead and just kind of messed around with it and I had gotten these twinkle lights from Hobby Lobby too and wanted to kind of put um, different neutral pumpkins into this lantern. So now you will see all of the areas that I've decorated in my home. This is the majority of the fall decor that I came up with. I am going to spray paint that pumpkin white but everything else is pretty much complete and I absolutely love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below what you think and again, let me know what your fall decor theme is for your home. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me clean and decorate and if you got motivated for your own home. And you're taking me